I'm Aisha, you are watching Educational Hub. Today we discuss the top most important questions in research defense. Let's start. First question is. Why did you choose this topic? This is one of the most important question during you defense of your research proposal or your final thesis. So, the answer of this question is. You should talk about the motivation for the study. Should talk about the research problem you wanted to address which made you embark on the study. Okay, second question is. Briefly explain what your research project is all about. So, the possible answer this question can be. To respond to this question. You need to fully understand your research project. Basically, be able to repeat your abstract. You should explain what is research problem. What are the variables? What is your methodology you use? What are the results of the finding? And what are the recommendations? So in simple words you could explain abstract of your research. Okay, third question is. What is the scope of the study? What is scope of your research project? So the answer is. Here you briefly state the specific aspects of your research project. That was covered during your research study. What area is covered during your research? This is basically the scope of the study. Okay next. Question number 4. What is the significance of the study? What is significance? The significance of the study is a written statement that explains why your research was needed. It's a justification of the importance of your work and impact it has on your research field its contribution to new knowledge and how others will benefit from it. So the possible answer is, you need to state, how your research work can be helpful other researchers, educators, organization. Okay question number 5. What are your research variables? So you need to memorize and work very carefully on your research variables. So the answer is, explain your independent and dependent variables. What variables are include your research topic? Okay, question number six. What research methodology did you use? There are different types or methodologies. For example, qualitative and quantitative. We explained both term in previous video. So, the perfect answer is, you should briefly state the research design procedure you adopted for the research. So, talk about data collection method, sampling techniques. Okay, next, question number seven. Why did you use research methodology? In this question the researcher going to ask you for the justification. That what was the basis? What was the reason behind using research methodology? So you need to provide some argumentations or the evidence for selected methodology. For example, if you use survey research method, so you can state reasons, such as, because I have you supplied the survey research because there is no interviewer bias. It is cost effective, it enable you collect information from the sample without influencing the population of the study. Okay, next, question number 8. What limitation did you encounter? So keep in mind, don't try to tell your interviewer or research panel, about the limitation of your results, or limitations of your data, that can adversely affect your research project. So, use simple limitations like difficulties encountered in combining lectures and projects, rather than limiting your study. So you need to discuss very simple limitation, and don't go for the limitation of analysis or your data. Okay, next. Question number 9. What source of data was impelled for the research? What type of the data was implied? Either in the primary data, or it was secondary data. So the answer is, you should state. If primary source, such as, questionnaires, interview and observation are used, and the secondary sources, books, journals, newspapers were used. So, you simply have to answer, the nature and type of the data. Okay, next, question number 10. Supporting your findings, what areas will you suggest for the future research? If you ask this particular question, that after conducting specific research project, what would you suggest for the future research? So, the answer is, based on your finding, during a manageable scope, you ought to be ready to suggest future research area in line with your study. Thank you for watching. 
Like share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos about research.